<laughs> do that again. <laughs> you ready, Dave? The damn thing is working. Jay's over there on uh, horse races. But anyway, I'm chilling with Dexter Jackson. Just walking in, but this, this could turn into a heated moment. But I uh, just want to ask Phil, um, you know, how does it feel, man, in such a short period of time? The ground that you have covered, and now looking at the opportunity ahead of you, what do you think about as, as yourself as a man in Philly? Uh, pretty excited. You know? I, I think I'm, it's, it's kind of synonymous to what you went through. You know, I'll place the top of your profession and stuff. And, you know, just being a part of that, part of that new group, I actually did it on my first track. Uh, it's pretty amazing. It's actually just now kind of sinking in. Uh, but, you know, this year, you know, my whole focus is to do it again, to you know, possibly go up another spot, but to actually stay within that top two. Because I do realize that, you know, we've got a few more other competitors that are, that are coming through strong and knowing us, you know, striving to be the best, you know, come September. But the good thing is that i got youth on my side, and I'm pretty excited about that, and healthy. But overall, I think the experience in itself is just, I think it's kind of one of a kind because I came from a totally different background than a lot of other guys. Um, was bodybuilding something that, was it always a dream for you as a turn pro or was no. it just somehow just kind of like stumbled over? I was just doing it because my friends were doing it. And then I happened to win a contest and actually met Jay at that contest, took photos for him, and never was thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to turn pro. And you know, I competed in you know, April of 03 and then. Uh, in April of 05, actually, guest booked the same show with Jay. Um, and Jay had mentioned to me that I was turning pro, and I thought he was joking, you know, because he was a guy who's been you know, travel all around the world, you know, seeing tons of athletes, much for him, not me. But he obviously saw some potential and, and whatnot. You know, it just started from there. You know, it kind of gave me some motivation, you know, going into the yeah. junior nationals and stuff. Well, you, uh, you certainly have an awesome physique, man. When I saw you walk out on stage uh, at the 2008 Mr. Olympia, I was like, you know, I was very impressed. And I saw the future for you, man, just being a tremendous opportunity. You know, and I, I believe, you know, I've been following, you know, your interviews and your mindset and everything, and the process that you go through, I believe that, you know, you, you have what it takes inside of you to, to you know, to one day be Mr. Olympia. So, um, what have you done, or what are your strategic plans going into this year's Mr. Olympia uh, compared to last year's Mr. Olympia? What's going to be the difference in uh, Bill Heaton's approach? Well, my approach is now to win. Um, I don't think, going in my first Olympia, that winning was ever an option. You know, a lot of people say, oh, I'm just happy to be there. Well, I was already happy to be there. You know, my, my goal was to be top five, and they got closer and closer to the contest, and I thought, well, I'm top five is actually, you know, maybe a stretch, but I, can, I think I can, if I nail it, I can get it in the third. So this year is different. This year, um, you know, I, I feel like my goal is to win, uh, whereas last year it was just, like I said, uh, just cool with the would I be cool third this year? Probably, but, you know, I, I, I would be lying if I, you know, say that I wouldn't want to win. You know, so my approach is just to continue to train hard, train heavy, stay healthy at the same time, be more organized because of the travel schedule and whatnot is increased. Uh, but overall, just, just be very hungry. Try to uh, implement, you know, the killer instinct that I, that I acquired when I was you know, a kid playing hoops. You know, and trying to get to the Division One level, you know, being at a disadvantage height and whatnot, even skill level in some sense, but still being able to earn a scholarship, I have to, you know, really sacrifice and really work harder than the next guy. So yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do for this. I think, uh, you know, that's 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 very important. Uh, the one thing you said is it's just that that mentality of the instinct, that line, that killer instinct approach. And I think you definitely have that, and that's what it takes to almost be an overnight success. So Phil, I just want to say, man, you're awesome. And uh, I'm looking forward to 2009, Mr. Olympia. I know a lot of fans are. And Mr. Jay Cutler is definitely going to be back, you know? Oh, for sure. Better than ever again. And I know that you and Dexter Jackson are kind of like, you know, uh, Dexter's got his thing, you got your thing. And it's going to be a very interesting show. Absolutely.
So I'll have your ticket in there pretty soon. Yeah, oh, so um, we know you have uh, Metarex behind you yep. and also uh, Weeder. And uh, so two strong companies behind you, man. Yeah, I, I think they made a great choice with, uh, with Simon. Oh, so a lot of people are looking definitely to see a bright future out of you, man. I'm looking forward to the show, man. Yeah. So no pressure, right? right? <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> thanks, bro. All right, thanks, man. Great. Thank you.